In this video, I'm going to be sharing with you a little trick that you can use out of the bunch tight end to be able to make your inside zones super, super effective and basically allow you to create a three-headed rushing attack from one simple play. What's up guys, my name is Cody and I want to thank you for taking the time to watch this video. Now if you're new to the channel and you don't know what my channel is all about, my channel is all about becoming a better Madden player in Madden 21. So if you're looking to get better at this game, I would highly encourage you to go ahead and hit that subscribe button and turn that bell notification icon to on. That way you never miss one of these important videos as I upload videos every single day that share with you what I'm learning and what I am doing um, to become a better player in this game. Now, if you've been following me for a while, or even if it's your first time, I had to get a new cell phone number because I'm moving. And so if you look at the top left hand corner of your screen, that is my personal cell phone number. You can text me anytime. My number is 208 218-6900. So feel free to just hit me up via text message. It's the best way to get a hold of me if you have a Madden question or if you want to get a game in. Also, if you want to get my free text message membership playlist, it's completely free. And every single week, we release full offensive and defensive schemes. Right now, we're about 15 schemes in. We've had U trips, A slot offset, split close, bunch. Trips tight end, nickel 335 wide, bunch tight end, big nickel over G, and we've got a ton more planned for you every single week of the Madden season. That's completely free for you. You get a one to two hour video every single week that breaks down an in depth. Uh, offense or defense and so if you want to get that playlist all of the videos that we've already done for it and all the videos that we're going to do in the future for it all you have to do is simply pull out your cell phone and text the word Madden to 208-218-6900 and that will automatically send you that every single Saturday whenever we release a new one. So really excited that I finally got that set up for you guys. That way as soon as you text in, you'll be able to get added um, to that playlist. So anyways, let's dive into today's video. And in today's video, I wanted to share with you, this is out of the New York Jets playbook, which is quickly becoming my favorite playbook in the entire game and I wanted to share with you um, two different running plays but really primarily the inside zone um, and uh, we're gonna talk about you know why the inside zone and what you can do with it so uh, obviously you're gonna probably face some type of nickel 335 wide you know cover two man type of look and here's how you're gonna run this play it's actually relatively simple all you're gonna do is you're going to double team the nose tackle and then what you want to do is you want to ID this backside corner okay and from there you see here I can run this to the right I can also cut it back to the left side and this run is very very difficult to shoot now depending on how they set their users up a lot of times you're gonna see this right here you're gonna see something like this um, at the snap of the ball if you see something like this again just double team and then you're just gonna basically run off left tackle just like this right here now let's say that you're having the issue that I'm running into as you see right here is for whatever reason you know we're allowing that we're allowing that defensive linebacker on that left side to come in untouched normally that's going to be um, a corner especially if you're playing someone that kind of knows what they're doing but if that's an issue all you gotta do is just ID him if you ID him um, normally that will take care of it and as you can see this run is really good what makes this run so good is that it's really difficult to shoot it now there's one little motion that I like there's actually a couple different motions that you can do to make this run really really effective um, especially like let's say you're in a short yardage type of situation or something like that I love to use this little tactic right here you're gonna notice that the defense is not gonna change based off of this little motion tactic but by motion the circle receiver to the right here you're going to notice that it's going to give me a lot more room on this left side to be able to just simply work the ball up and down the field now what i also like to do is a little hesitation move you've probably seen people that run trips tight end do it and this is more of something that i'll do to the left so you can motion this guy to the left and as you'll see here um, you can do a little hesitation move set the blocks up and as you can see we're going to be able to go now the way you do that hesitation move is by basically on the left joystick i'm not holding turbo until i get out of the line of scrimmage but once I get out of the line of scrimmage, um, I'm just basically hold, cocking it back and then forward really, really quickly. And it's going to do a little hesitation. So clock back and then up. And then right there, I was really bad user right there. But it, it, it allows you, it does take a little bit of practice. It took me a lot of practice to get this down. Um, but it allows you to do this little, basically this little cutback. So you'll see here, I can do, you know, I can cut. And then I can kind of like delay. And essentially what's going to happen is his user is going to get stuck. 
most of the time what they're gonna do is their user is going to just like blitz his day like blitz right down the middle well the beauty of this um, the beauty of this running play is that the user is gonna have a really hard time coming down and so as you see there I mean we're able to walk right through it even though that user is on a blitz now, another thing that they're going to try to do is they might try to defend you something like this right here, you know, where they're basically leaving themselves a little bit vulnerable uh, to the left side cutback. So when you come back here, you can just basically hard cut to the left side. And if you can get to that corner, that can be a really, really good opportunity for your offense. And so what I like to do in that situation is if I see something like this, more of just a basic look, uh, what you want to do, you still want to double team that middle guy, but we're going to ID the left side here. And now, and I forgot to do the motion, you do need to do that motion, especially if they have a linebacker there because it's going to help a ton with this run. If you motion circle either direction, it's going to mean a lot for the run play. But anyway, you'll see here if I motion him left, then I can do that little cutback. And then the other thing that I can do is let's say that corner has good pursuit, I can double juke him. But basically what it's going to do is it's going to give me a one-on-one -on -one with the cornerback and uh, I like those odds. I really do. I really like those odds. And again, you'll see here, just come this way, cut back, double juke, and then I can have an opportunity to try to get some stuff going on there. So that's one version of the way that you can do it. It's not the only version. Um, and this is really good. Like if they start doing stuff like, if they start doing stuff like this right here to load up on the, the left side inside zone, then you're able to, you know, even just have even more of an advantage because now you see, I mean, you have a clear numbers advantage on that left side. You can come down and then just cut. And uh, as you can see, you can get over on that right side. Now, this run is a lot better in game um, than it is in practice mode because the user, when you use those cutbacks, will oftentimes run himself out of the play, uh, you know, because of the, just the way it works. But you see, you can literally like kind of put people on ice skates um, with your running back. And there's a lot of things you can do with this, but like right here, you see, I can just cut left, cut back, cut left, you know, whatever I want to do to be able to make this successful. The big key here is that we use this motion and we double team that slot. And by doing that, you see, I can even just slam it right up forward and get a couple of yards. It all depends on what their user does. Okay. It is a little bit of a read. You are kind of reading what their user is doing. Does their user slam in? You know, if they spy their safeties, for example, you know, and they're, and they're really um, intentional about coming down the middle, you know, then you might want to go this way. You, you know, you might want to cut left, you might want to cut right, but it's all about a little bit of a read. But the beauty of it is you can, if you want to, um, you again, for inside stuff purposes, um, you just want to make sure that you double team that nose tackle and that you motion out because of that linebacker on the left side. You don't want that matchup. But with if you do those two things, um, you can kind of do whatever you want. I mean, you see right here, I can snap tape on Austin right here. And then now he's going to block that corner and look at this lane. Look at this running lane. I mean, that's wide open. And, and the beauty of this is you can still run it to the other side. So let's say, you know, he motions here, you know, and they do their standard thing. You can still run this strong side just like that right there. But you've created more balance in your running game. And the cool part about this is, like I said, this little motion snap, um, this inside zone is very hard to shoot. But if you snap right there, you see, I can just kind of cut this back. And, you know, I have a really good matchup. I have a matchup with safety. I can get outside. I can do whatever I want. Um, it's all stemming from these motion snaps. Now, uh, one of the things you will notice really quickly is, like, let's say I motion this right here. Um, that's not going to help me too much. But that little juke right there can do a lot for you if they, like, come in on that instant shed. You could easily just juke to the outside. But there's, some, there's a lot that you can do with this. You can double team this guy. But as you see here, it's not going to matter too much. Um, if you do if you do double team that linebacker, it doesn't change much. The big thing here is double team the inside stuff guy and then just motion out so that make sure that tackle does clear that block for you. That's going to help a ton. Um, now in Mutt, like I said, you're not going to have as big of an issue with this because that's oftentimes going to be a safety in that position. Um, that you're going to have to deal with you're not going to have to deal with a corner so um the cool part about this is you could also do a little play action and i've talked about this a little bit if you go to p boot over and you snap uh Tavon Austin right here you can kind of roll out with your like you can basically obviously you have your rollout passing that you can do but the cool part is you also have your rollout running so let's say that for example um let's just say they do something like this like they're bringing this guy out you know they're bringing this guy down in this position right here or maybe they're doing this you know whatever they're shifting them any direction but they're crashing them out is the key 
if you go to PA boot over and you double team that defensive end on the right, not only are you going to have your passing that you can do from this, but you can actually run with the quarterback. You see I can run with the quarterback right up the middle right there, and it kind of creates a nice little element, added element to your offense. But I cannot stress to you how good this inside zone is. Um, you're just going to have to trust me on this. Um, if you're running any, if you're running bunch tight end, you know, I, I have a whole ebook out on how to run bunch tight end. This is a really good run. Like, cause see how I can just like pause. It allows you three different lanes. You can run middle, you can run outside left, and you can run outside right. All within one run. If you can just master this little hesitation move and this little double juke right there, that can really, really help you with this run. So anyways guys if you want to get the full ebook it is in the, the, the description for you um, it's just 15 bucks it shows you everything it shows you how to pass it shows you how to run it shows you everything that you need to know the bunch tight end in my opinion is the is probably the best offense in the entire game i love the fact that the new york jets playbook has the play tight end corner in combination with the play inside zone i'm actually kind of considering going more uh leaning a little bit more to the jets playbook right now i was using it out of run heavy but um the beauty of the jets playbook is that you have this inside zone and and I, I mean, this inside zone is like money, money. If you lab it and if you practice it, you will find a lot of success. Um, and again, it just depends on how the alignment of the defense works, where they move people. Uh, all that stuff is really, really important. And all that stuff is something that you're going to have to fill out on the game. But the big thing is if they have an inside stuff that you double team, and then as you see here, if they have a linebacker over there, maybe that's an out my way or something like that. You just want to make sure that Tavon Austin doesn't block him. So you just motion him out. And you see here, I mean, this this little this little run, little power sweep style um, can be very effective for you. So if you want the full offense, uh, obviously I show more than just the run in the ebook. I show how to pass as well. I mean, P boot overs is one of those plays, you know, and that that's what it really does complement because they look exactly the same. Um, and then what I would just do with your PA with your PA boot over, and really what I would probably do if I was running this in general, is I would motion this guy right. And the reason why is because he's going to go block that corner for you. And then that leaves you one-on-one -on -one with the safety on the right side. It gives you more symmetrical, um, uh, more of a symmetrical approach. It also forces them to have to respect the fact that you can run right here out of this. And then that's going to actually open up this little left side lane for you to be able to hit that inside zone. So thanks for watching this video. If you want to get a free preview of the ebook, I got about a one hour video that is basically a preview of the ebook and that's available in my text message membership playlist, which is completely free for you to sign up for. All you have to do is text the word Madden to my new cell phone number, which is 208 218-6900. I'll leave that number for you in the description as well. And if you're like, you know what, I already want to get the ebook. Those two plays are money. And if I can find some passing plays to complement that, I believe the bunch tight end is the best passing offense in the entire game. Combined with these runs is going to be very effective for you. So be sure to pick that up. That link is available for you in the description. Thanks for your time. I hope you enjoyed the video and we will see you guys later tonight on stream at 10 o'clock PM Eastern time.